So, so basically, um, it I, it's up on the site right now, right? Uh, I just have to verify. Yeah, but okay. it will be up on the site when they see this. Okay. So, so the 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 sh we we try to get this on there as fast as we could, but um, the front of the shirts are gonna look a little bit different than this, right? No, they're gonna look like that. Okay. The front will look like that. I'm gonna show you the back. I thought it was a little bit different than this. Sure. Is it the same? It's the same. The front and the sleeves are the same. Okay. So that, uh, that's a I thought you were doing outline on the front or something. I, th I thought we were too, but I get it. Yeah, he's, he's wrong. Okay. We're not doing that. So the, uh, here is the back. Yep. That's it. Get a little closer. All right. There you guys go. So that's it right there. Yep. So it shows the bell life and then YouTube and then bangs. So that's what, um, that's Justin's tattoo basically. Yeah. Right there. Except for brighter. Yeah. Well, he's tan right now. And his uh, donkey looks like he's got a good tan. But uh, donkey, um, his donkey. So, so, so we're gonna do uh, pre-sales. Um, yeah. They're gonna do pre because we we honestly don't have them right now, and it's you know why we don't have them, and um, everybody wants new merch, and it's the only thing we could think of to get new merch out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just being honest. You know, I'm just being honest. You know, you can comment down below that Bell Life's broke or broke Bell Life or <laughs> beginning of the end Bell Life. You guys suck. Whatever. Scam Life. Whatever you want to say. Scam Life. Scam Life was good. Just until oh, you yeah. know our story, which you know, you know, 10% of it now, that's just an idea. But um, so we're running a pre-sale on thebelllife.com. Well, everything's in production now. Okay. And they should be shipped out by the second week in May. Okay. So anybody who places an order tonight, Expect your item to be shipped out the second week of May. Correct. Yeah. So it's um, you understand. It's a limited run too. What we're gonna do a limited run? How yeah. Long? There's actually 190 shirts total. All, yeah. Total combined all sizes. Because so. honestly, we're at this. You know, I mean, we're in a situation now where we're just kind of at everybody's back and call to see if it's even gonna be. Right. If you guys like the shirt and you buy it, then we'll order more. Right, yeah. If if it. Flops, if, it does, if it flops, then, we then won't, we won't this do it. this will be our this will be the order. So what you get is what you get, and that's it. Don't throw a fit. Well, so. Well. What's up, Bell Life family members? Trey Dub Dub, come back at you again. BellLife.com. I don't have anything to say. I don't think any of us really have anything to say, but. Um, I guess you could say stuff needs to be said. Um, so a lot of things need to be said, but you probably set sale. Yeah, I think it was probably 2018 or 19. One of Garen's first videos, the Death Nut Challenge. The original gangsters, or as these people say, OG is me and him. When we started this. I mean, this was our, was his idea, his baby. And then we both went out like we were killing snakes, and then grew an audience. Yeah, and and we should have never ever brought anybody else in so we should have never done that was a mistake so uh, you live and you learn so i think in, i think it was 2018 do you think it that sounds about right 2018 um just going to be 100 percent honest with everybody here that's you know if you're if you're watching this and it i'm not trying to be mean but i want the truth to be out there and it doesn't matter if you believe it's true or not but we know it's true so this why and they know it's true yeah i just i mean the family members know it's true but the haters and then Thank you a ton, family. You know all the. That's why you guys are getting it first. All the you. all the Bell Life family members for 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 putting people in their place on YouTube and the comments and stuff. We really appreciate it because the people that know us and meet us in real life know who we are. Everybody meets us says, "I can't believe you're just talking to me." I said, "Why? I mean, we're just normal people." <laughs> so I think it was in 2018. I said it a million times, but um, we did the first de uh, the first Death Nut Challenge, and. Was that I, his first video? I think. I'm not sure if it was, it was one of the first. Um, I can't remember that. He came over. Uh, That's when he lived across the street. You know, our other brother and um, his wife lived across the street. And Garen came over and did the video. And um, everybody loved him. And, uh, and you know, obviously we did. We liked him. He brought another dynamic to the, to the, the crew, you know, and um, brought another audience along with him you know that was kind of the loud mouth justin's the do and and garen was the baby the puker no yeah. and and he and he did really well at that honestly i mean that's that he's not doing anything there he really just does puke like that and uh so where would you fast forward so when we first started um the the bell life on youtube really didn't start making any money until about 2018 and we were both working full-time jobs correct and 
people that are commenting, you know, you need to get a real nine to five job, yeah. all that kind of stuff. I did, I did have a real nine to five job for almost 15 years. I had, I still have a real nine to five job. Well, we're getting to all that in a second. So, <laughs> so, so this is a real big video. So get the popcorn out is what you need to do. So, um, I, I, I did it for 15 years and, um, and Trey's obviously his whole life has worked his whole life. Uh, the social media thing is new to all of us. And uh, started truck driving when I was 20, 21 years old. Yeah. Now we have 52 this year. 40, 50 hours a week, just like everybody else does. We started YouTube in 2015 and we didn't quit our jobs. Well, we didn't. I, he he quit his job. I didn't quit my job, but that was what? 2021? 2021. 2021. I quit when the baby was born. Yeah. And then. So what's that been? Three years? Yeah. Two, three, and a half, two three, and a half, three years. Three years. Three years. A little yeah. over three years, yeah. So, so everybody really, you know, enjoyed Jaren and stuff. And, and like I said, in 2018, we just really started making money. We're like, there's no way you can really make money doing social media. You well, know? We, were making we were making enough to pay for the videos. I know, well, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. We, we, we were, th th there was a certain point, it. obviously, I have something wrong with me. You all know that. The first one chip challenge came out. The chips were not available anymore. So I went on Amazon and I, we paid 70 or $80 a chip and we bought 10 of them. And 90% of the time, back then, me and Amy had negative $46 in the bank account. <laughs> So um, it yeah, was a I, I've had to I've had to help them out with some things more than once. Yeah, so it's, it's not like it we're rich or any of that kind of stuff. And to be honest with you, right now, me and Amy are making less than six thousand dollars a month, which might sound like a lot to a lot of people. But if me and Amy were both working full time, we'd be making about eight thousand dollars a month. So I'm just I just want you all to know the numbers. You know, it's just it's we're doing this because Trey says he doesn't like it, but he likes it. That it actually is fun. If the videos are, are set up right, and we're all getting along. No, I, I don't. I didn't say I didn't like it. I, I just. It's I mean, like sometimes anymore, it's anymore anymore with more. the whole situation with that him and everything. It was just an obstacle. Yeah, we need to get to that. So it's an obstacle. Okay, so he brought on an audience. It was really good. Um, we, we had a great time with every Sunday Several when we filmed. Years, yeah. For years, every Sunday when we filmed, we started making more money. We started paying Garen fifty dollars per video. Remember? Yeah. Fifty dollars per video because I would. We, I, we would pay him fifty dollars a video, so he'd make fifty dollars a video. And back then, I think he was making averaging two hundred fifty, three hundred bucks cash a week or something. Mm -hmm. And Garen was a was an apprentice at a company. And I'm being nice right now because I could be really ridiculous to the people that are watching this on their little phones right now. I'm not talking about any of my family members. I'm talking about direct family. Okay, I could be rude and say what company that is, but I'm not going to. Okay, so because um, I really wanted a lot more things to happen. I had to talk him off the ledge. Yeah, because a, a lot of a lot of names are going to get dropped. And, and my defense and our defense, I made two phone calls and said if this goes down, it's going to be ugly. And nobody did a thing about it. Yeah, they so, just let it went down. Okay, there yeah. you go. That's what you get. Yeah. So, Dummy. Yeah, so Garen um, did really well. Um, like I said, 50 bucks a video. And then we, we got to a point where we're doing even better. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing even as we did better. He did better. That, that's how companies work. Okay, and and he did really well. So you know, you guys have seen a lot of the videos in the past. For instance, like and keep in mind when you own a company and you have employees, they don't make what the owner makes. That's not how it works. It, everybody everybody thinks if you own a company, you're rich. You have all kinds of money. It blows my mind. I have a company. You're not rich. You, you have all kinds of stuff like this. We wrote you a check for three thousand. Did you want to know what came out of that? What I actually brought home after all my expenses there's and a, aggravation? There's a lot of there's expenses. a lot of BS behind all that. And anybody out there that doesn't run a company or just works their normal little forty-hour week at a at a at a, at a, at a, at a factory, you don't even know what you're talking about. You have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, there's a lot of stress and a lot of sleepless nights that come with it. And, and it didn't start off that way. It didn't really get that way until, uh, I mean, until the first big stressor, obviously, is when our channel got deleted. Okay? When our channel got deleted, I actually think when we started the bellapp.com, that's when Garen started making a lot more, right? Because mm -hmm. he was making $50 per video, but well, there's videos you've seen over the years, like, for instance, taser videos. You know, 25 bucks a taste, however many tastes you can take is what you get. There's been some weeks where he's made twelve, thirteen hundred dollars from us. So in I think twenty when the website when we started the website, Garen went to eight hundred and forty dollars a week. And you guys gotta remember, and girls, a week 
is not seven days on. It's, it's not a forty-hour week. Yeah, it's uh, one day. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so a week for us. If all the videos, day, yeah. if all the videos are planned out well and and we're not jacking around and we go bam, 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 like on Sundays, we film uh, about seven videos per Sunday is what we film. So that and if everything's going good, you can get it done in five hours completely or less. Or less. Sometimes you can do it in three hours. Start five the five hours was the maximum. You yeah, know. like if we're on the you know on the verge of not doing this video and then we're talking about it and it takes time blah 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 but anyways garen was getting 840 dollars for five hours of work and that number 840 dollars came when the company that i worked for and he worked for and our other brother works for right now uh came to garen after i had already quit you guys know all of this if you've been watching i had already quit and they came to garen with a letter we I, we should get the letter but with the letter that said, we there the video is up on this channel. I think that you're not allowed, or is it? I don't know. Should be. You're not allowed doing videos. In, okay, you, from human resources at the at the company, you're not allowed doing videos anymore. If you continue to do videos, you're going to be fired. Basically, you need to quit doing. Any vi video that you're in has to be taken down, or you're going to be fired. Correct, and we couldn't do that because if he's in people like. We're stealing our videos and posting them, and we have no all, control. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right when we started the website. People, you know, and then we had to get lawyers and stuff and spend thousands of dollars to get those videos taken down because the members were getting mad because they were, you know, there's a lot that's happened, but. Uh, with that letter and Garen said what do you think I should do and I'm like we had just started the website I was scared to death because we had just quit I had just quit uh, my, yeah my job Amy quit her job and we just had a baby and the web and the YouTube gets deleted and then Garen says what should I do Man, and I like, never in a million years thought they'd delete that channel that blew my mind yeah so I'm like I don't know what to do so I called Trey and we're talking about her or whatever then Garen clicks in call him back he's like well I quit they're taking me home I'm like Oh my gosh, now we're 100% responsible for him because I felt bad because the reason he got the letter in the first place is because he's doing the videos with us. So I'm like, okay, we'll take care of him, right? That's what you should do. So, Trey, um, I had already quit work. What did Tra What did you do? I let him come to work for me. So then Garen goes in, um, Trey, Trey up, you know, his company and starts working for Trey. Um... I think everything's going good still, right? Yeah, everything's going good, right? Everything's going smooth. As far as we knew. It was. On this channel, on this channel, Garen gets engaged. You all remember we had the whole video about Garen gets engaged, and this is where we wanted the truth to come out because the first video we made, Garen wasn't trying to be an adult and go get a job. You know, we made it sound like Garen was growing up and, you know, he was. Well, doing, we really didn't know how to. We didn't know how to tell you tell all because you what Garen came to us with made no sense the first time that he quit. I mean, absolutely. I mean, me and Justin were sitting. It in the made more sense than this second time why he quit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not even joking. Me and Justin sat in the living room and cried. Yeah. And and were absolutely devastated. A lot. A lot of people, if you're just tuning in for the first time, that 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 n don't know a whole lot about social media, like just start another one. It's no big deal. Well, it doesn't really. It's like building. It's like building five or six years of like a um, trades companies. I d I never did that. What's that called? Seniority. It's like doing that, and then, but it's actually a lot worse on social media because once you restart, you restart with nothing, Zero. and right. you have to rebuild it. So it this, so, so Garen came to. He actually told Trey the first time. What did he say? He called me. And I was on a treadmill. And he goes, I, I don't think I want to do the videos anymore. I said, What? I was work. He was working for me, and I, and I was at home on the treadmill. And I said, Well, Garen, that's that's definitely not a good idea. Why? I said, because it's going to hurt us if you quit. You know, you have fans. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how this works. You know, there's, it's a trio, not just two of us anymore. It's just now you're involved with it. He said, I don't know how many people like me. I said, it's not a good idea, Garen. It's not a good idea. I said, and Justin is going to flip a lid if you quit. What do you do? So then he comes, well, he comes over here, says he wants to quit. I said, Garen, you know what? I feel like a, I feel like a, you know, it's never like a boss and employee situation around here or whatever. It's all it's all family you know what i mean and it's 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 and always we've never treated him like an employee. yeah i don't act like he's an employee or any of that kind of crap i mean he's our nephew you know and like if you notice in the videos over the years if it was a pain video if it was a real bad pain video and and, and it was hurting garen i would step in on garen's play you know every i got i would try to do everything to make it as comfortable as possible for garen obviously a lot of videos aren't comfortable they're but, not fun yeah but i'm just trying because i felt bad because he's a kid you know what i mean 
So he comes over here right in this kitchen. I have no idea how long ago this was. He's a 25-year-old kid. Yeah. So right. we'll, not really he's not really a We're kid. still getting to that. So he comes here and says, he's quitting. I'm like, Aaron, what's it going to you know take to, to keep you or whatever? And he, he said, nothing. And I'm like, well, how about $1,000 a week? Remember, which is five hours, right? $1,000 for five hours. His exact words, standing right in his kitchen, was, it's not about the money. Well, fast forward to that Facebook post. Now it's about the money. Which, Supposedly, we, if that's what, if he's running around telling people, you know, if somebody said that, you know. We don't know because we're not on speaking terms anymore right, right. We're not with half the family. family. So I'm not going to sit here and he said, she said stuff. But somebody who is related to the family well, through marriage. Soon to be marriage. Yeah. Thinks, posted something. Yeah. Which I, I've said two words, maybe. Yeah. That, that, she doesn't that, know what's from Adam. Yeah, she I doesn't know anything. She, of, she has no from, clue what she's I'm talking I'm going to drop a name. Because yeah. the only way she's heard anything is from Adrian. And Adrian doesn't come around and hasn't been around for over three years. Yeah, that was kind of a mysterious thing. Which, yeah. is, yeah. All went, which so. is Garen's fiance. That's why I said in the video that, you know, whatever, I'll, we'll say some more stuff here in a second. Ever heard of actually working a nine to five like everyone else? Which yes, is, for his whole life because he's 52. Right. and. And I haven't done it Justin's for three. I haven't life. done it for three years. I haven't right. done it. For, sorry, I haven't done it for three years. Okay. And my whole life, we've all worked. It's our called. Lives it's off. called life. I'm sorry that Garen Bell has decided to make real life decisions <laughs> to stop to stop supporting tune. I'm oh, sorry. I'm gonna cuss. Sorry, mom. Two mm -hmm. grown ass men that have been robbing him for years. And I'm, <laughs> it's it's a, like it's so. It's hard to read that because like you have no idea what you're talking about, woman. It said no this, clue what you're talking about. It said this post was very childish. So I'll I'll go back to the post and I'll read it to all you all because there's a lot of people in our family that don't like this post and it's never coming down. I said four days ago, family is very important, so important that I would do anything for them, and I mean anything, and that's true. Okay, and it should be true for everybody that has family. But through recent events, that has changed. We have, we may have the same last name, but we are not related. If the four of you are reading this and can't get in touch with us, it's because you're blocked. Oh yeah, huge congrats on your wedding, Garen Bell and Adrian, however the hell you say your last name. Uh, uh, huge congrats on your wedding. We hope it all ends in divorce with a laughing emoji, okay? Make sure she knows we paid for the ring. Which we did. One more thing, fuck you, is what I said. Now you need to apologize. To your I'm mom. sorry, mom. So, yeah. so that That's was my post. Which blew up. Yeah, which blew. Which people are jumping on the bandwagon. You know, to, Garen, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, That's like, what, what cracks me up. They have no clue what they're talking about. So All, these people have had nothing to do with us in our everyday life. But it doesn't make a difference if so you don't know what you're talking about. Don't run your mouth. Yeah, period. So, Point so, blank. So I'll forget in a thousand. He said it's not about the money. Okay. So then the next thing was, I said, take a couple months off and think about it because we were far enough ahead in videos to where we could just take off too and it wouldn't have, like nothing happened. You know what yeah. I mean? And he's like, no, no it's not that because I'm still not going to want to do the videos when I come back. And then what, what offered him one more thing. What was it? We, we were going to switch from when, uh, from Sunday filming to Wednesday Yeah, because he was still working Monday through Friday for Trey. And I thought, well, it sucks to only have one day off. Yeah. And, and it does suck. But if you're a man, you do it. Okay, Because we've done it <laughs> since 2015. We've had one day off since 2015. We're getting ready to do that again. Yeah. yeah and we, it, we're doing it now. Okay. So that's what y'all, we're, we're working nine to fives now. So. <laughs> So, uh, so he says, no, I don't want to stay. And then he quits. He's gone. Then we make the video to you all, me and Trey in the Dodge driving. Okay. TRX details are coming soon. The TRX had to get sold because we can't afford it. Is that the truth? That's the truth. That's the truth. So, so we, um, so he quit and he did not get another job. He worked for you. He worked for Trey because people were saying they still seeing him out driving and all that kind of stuff. But when he came to us, you heard exactly what he told us. Well, I, I offered him everything in the world to try to stay, and he wouldn't stay. And um, so he's driving for Trey, and you all saw it on the website where me and Trey and Amy were doing the videos, and j just like Norma, we finally got back into a little bit of a gel. Um, you know, you lose that gel when there's three of you, and then you got to gain the gel back when there's only two of you. Okay, so we gain it back, and the the website we should have left it right like that. We yeah. should have never. Yeah. It should have never been brought on to begin with, you know what I mean? I mean? That's just all there is to it. And I'm not going to sit here and, you know, go back and forth about all that. But, I mean, the bottom line of all of this is, is I mean, you, 
you guys have no idea how disappointing and just regretful the whole thing really is. I mean, it's just like you just sit there and shake your head. There's more regretful stuff than that. We got another story to tell you all, too. Well, about. I'm just saying, I mean, there's more than anything. I'm just disappointed. It's just disappointing. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed. That's just what it in, is. I mean, it's just disappointing. Somebody in my whole life, to be honest with you. you. Know. And then, and then, and if he is running around saying crap that's not true, well, he has to be because how else would they hear it? I don't know. Who else would they hear it from? I don't know. Yeah. So, so there's another. Um, you know, it, it, he continues to work for Trey, and we continue to do videos and actually get to a normalcy. We actually changed at that point to filming on Wednesdays because I'm like, well, maybe if we film on Wednesdays, we have the, you know what I mean. Trey's group, Melissa works Monday through Friday. They can have two days off. You know what I mean. Maybe it's a good idea we film on Wednesdays. Blah blah blah. So we started that, started doing that. Fast forward, how many months was it? You guys probably six. know. It was around six months he quit. Six, seven months. Gone. So the things you guys don't know about Garen, you probably do because you've seen vlogs over the past couple of years. How did how did he come back? Do you is, remember that? He came back. Yeah, to us. Well, listen. Yeah. So oh, we had we had what's his name here filming with us. Doug. No, no, not Doug. Um, oh, what's his name? He owns a restaurant. He's a good drinker. Jimmy. Actually, yeah, we had Jimmy here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, she Florida, Florida guy, Florida yeah. guy. Yeah, Florida. Jimmy was right here, right so here, Jimmy? right here with us filming. Yeah. And yes, we are going to have people on the website to film with us, but y'all, now you're finding out there's a lot that's going on. But, um, uh, Garen, did he text you? He just showed up in Trey's driveway over there, basically. And, um, says, I, what did he say? I think I have an idea how everything can work out. I say, have no idea what he does. He about. wanted, if y'all remember, we built, uh, the Duramax, the gold, um, extended cab, long bed Duramax with 40s, wheels and tires and all that stuff. Trey bought, or Garen bought that truck from Trey back when everything was going good and we were filming and all that kind of stuff. Well, Garen, when he quit, he was still working for Trey and still had the truck, okay? He decides that, hey, I think it'd be cool. I want to get an F450 regular cab uh, uh, flatbed, right? But Garen's not very good at saving money. So his ploy, which is, I know this has to be what it is, he came back to us the second time to get a loan on a truck to get his rocks off and he would sacrifice by filming with us again. The thing about Garen is he's like, he, he almost is like, it reminds me of somebody, he, he, he needs a buffer. Like something has to buff him to put him in a good mood, be excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about that. Always something new. Yeah, I mean, always, always changing, changing, changing. I mean, and, you know, and he gets that from his dad. His dad, one minute he's racing road control cars, then he's, then he's racing dirt bikes. Then he's riding street bike. I mean, it's like, that, it's, so he see, that's what he sees in his life. He's always seen that. But I mean, you know, at some point you have to realize that life's not always exciting. You, you know what I mean? You don't get something yeah. new. Just you don't get because, something new all yeah. the time. That's not the way it works, you know. But his brain couldn't, can't wrap around that. It yeah. Just, so he didn't tell us that was the reason that he wanted to come back. He basically just put it off like, yeah, I know, I messed up. I want to come back and try to fix things. He kind of spun it that way. So he got rid of the Duramax. He got the flatbed. You all saw the video. We put the flatbed on the truck and all that kind of stuff. He's all excited. He's gonna put new interior in the truck. He's gonna do all this and do all that. Well, when he came back, um, we we lost a lot. We, we lost a lot the first time Garen quit. I, I mean, a lot. And um, times ten. And we, I wanted to pay Garen, but we physically didn't have the money to pay Garen. I mean, we, me and Amy barely had enough money to cover the bills for the house. So the money, this new money, when Garen came back, I said we try to do twenty five dollars per video, which. Um, which we always did more than, because it, it adds up, I can't, what's six times, or is it six, it's three, it six, it's, it was six videos some week and seven videos the other week. Seven videos when we had a bell mail and six videos when we just had regular videos. And it would add up to like 180 bucks, or is that right, 25, no, 50? it'd be like 150 to 175. Yeah, and, and, and I always felt bad, so we just give them $200. So we take $100 out of mine and Amy's and $100 out of Trey's and give Garen 200. And I always felt bad about doing that because He's used to making 840, but it's not my fault that he quit the first time. You know what I mean? So, gave him um, $200, and keep in mind, I would always try to incorporate videos to give him a little bit more every week. You know, maybe, maybe, hey, Garen, go film a vlog about your wedding venue with Adrian. You know, give him 100 bucks for doing that. You know, little things like that just to help him out is what I was, you know, trying so to. perks. Yeah, trying. And then when he would do Bang's videos, we'd give him extra for that. It was, there was always something something to try to spike that a little bit because i knew because i knew because if you all i mean no yeah we lost our original channel we started the bell life.com 
Um, well, I wanted to get us back on social media because I understand people can't afford the website. So we started the Bell Life Bangs, the gun channel, went hard at it for like, I don't know, two or three months. They started messing with the channel, demonetizing, demonetizing, demonetizing. I messed up. We turned that channel into the BellLife.com trailers that nobody liked. You and didn't mess up. That was actually my idea. Well, I mean, I, I, I thought maybe it's not a bad idea and it just didn't work out. And and we, we all... were trying different stuff to see if something would fly. You know, yeah. we, just, we weren't having any luck. And we can't put our original content on YouTube because our, hey, member, our, our hey. members are, are paying to see that on the BellLife.com. So we thought... We love guns. Why don't we add jackass stuff into guns? You know what I mean? Obviously, so which is crazy. Nobody else really does that uh, at all. So um, I'm like, let's just let's just keep doing it again, and then maybe YouTube will, you know, stop messing with us as much. And they actually have stopped messing with us, so the the gun channel is is doing better. It's thriving, yeah. But what what Garen quit the first time, right? right when we bought when we brought the gun channel back and you all saw in the video gun channel videos for a while me and trey did them by ourselves and then when garen came back you know um we went back into normal production like we were doing or whatever so there's did you, did you tell the stipulations of when he came back the second time yeah so you guys didn't hear that and that's another big part of the story is garen comes back and says he doesn't want to get hit anymore and i'm like well, that's, that's like, like I want 90, to be a truck driver, but I don't want to drive the truck. Yeah, okay. it's like well, 90, that works. Yeah, it's like 95% of what we do. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. We'll change the content. I was doing everything I could to keep him. And, the, then, and you saw that in the videos, Justin. And all Trey, the content changed. We're taking all of the abuse. People would comment, why didn't just, why didn't Garen get hit? Why right. didn't this? Why didn't that? You know what I mean? Because if you all we remember. Him, we couldn't answer that because, you know. What was Johnny Depp's ex-wife? Name the girl, the blonde. What was her name? Uh, uh, we're Johnny Depp, and Garen is the ex-wife. Heard. Heard. Yeah. Yeah. We were. What's her first name? We were. We were being. We, we were seriously name. being manipulated by Garen because I didn't want to make him mad, and I wanted him to stay, but we didn't have the money to pay him like we used to. So I'm thinking. But he wasn't. He also wasn't performing like he used to. Yeah, either. he wasn't doing. He wasn't guys, doing what he used to do. Yeah, you guys, you guys saw, saw that. No, that uh, that wasn't. You know, anybody that watches this knows exactly. We you can look, go back and go like. What's he doing? Right. And then a lot of times, and you know, and even ask the bell lights, he just sits here. He yeah. don't say much, you know, which is fine. I mean, you know, we, you know, he's here, his face is here. That's what the, his fans wanted to see, you know. Well, he's sitting here. You know what I mean? So. And then, so he came back, and um, it it didn't really help. It didn't. I mean, the money came back up a little bit, like three or four thousand dollars. It came back up, but it didn't come back up like it needed to because obviously the content was different. They weren't enjoying, you know, you all weren't enjoying it as much. So I'm like. But I'm between a rock and a hard place. I'm like, we can't sit here and eat cereal, you know, because I'm and then because then you worry about people's diets because everybody's constantly on diets and we can't do eating or hitting videos. And I'm like, what are we gonna do? You know, me I, and Amy are doing this full time. I mean, we, it, it's got, it got really bad between me and Justin because we were walking on eggshells to try to keep Garen happy, and it was causing huge problems between me and Justin. Because Justin didn't know what to film, and yeah. I don't know how to help because yeah, I'm wanted, not creative like that. Then I wanted to switch the content up. I'm like, well, we'll just go back to old school where it was just me getting hit. And then that changed from me getting hit to me and Trey getting hit. And then the reason that changed to two separate videos is because YouTube would, me would mess with us. For so instance, one would get by and one would get hit. Yeah, so the Bullwood video, our first viral video, mine got age restricted and Trey stayed completely fine. Same video. Same exact video. Well, he was getting hit on one, I was getting hit on the other. That's why we did that. That's why we went to both of us getting hit. And Anybody then, that does YouTube out there that knows, you know, knows anything about this knows exactly what we're talking about. It's like, it's, it's, it, there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah. You know, there's not, it, just like Garen and the stuff he does, there's no rhyme or reason to what he does. He's just unhinged. And that's why YouTube is. They're just unhinged. They come in one day and, oh, today we're going to screw with these people. You know what I mean? Garen yeah. would come in one day and he's in a great mood. Everything's fine, good, ready to go. And then he'd come in and he's like, it's all down to dumps. You know what I mean? And it's like, how do you how do you work with that? So if you all remember, um, Garen's had like 15 vehicles in the past three years. Um, motorcycles, dirt bikes, four-wheelers. You've seen the videos on, on this channel over the years. Um, uh, he's just... I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's unstable. I don't I don't know if he's unstable or just very immature, or. Man, it's a shame because you know I considered him like a kid. You know what I mean? I mean, I would have I would have laid down in front of oh, a I would lay down in front of a trainer for him. Yeah. And then it's every time you turn around when somebody, you know, when you have that kind of 
it was love. I mean, we loved him. We loved the kid. Remember you what, what I mean? I mean, we loved him. We'd do anything. We did everything for him. And anybody that's got anything to say about that, come on down here, 622 Valley View Drive, Taylor Mill, Kentucky, 41015, and tell me I didn't love him. Man, he has ruined the relationship to the point where it's like, I don't care if I ever see him again. I don't care if I ever see him again. Well, it's more than him. And that sucks. It's, it's a lot that of sucks, man. That just sucks. Well, I mean, me and, you know, if people ask us about Garen, Garen, I claimed him as a Yeah, I mean, we did everything. For him. He was always with us and, you know, always doing stuff with us. But if, if you noticed, well, like, stupid things about Garen, like, he didn't like talking to fans in public. That annoyed him. That annoyed him. Like, Garen, you know, that's how we make, you know, we're <laughs> blessed to be able to, be, to do this. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for you all watching... That we wouldn't be here, and 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 he would get he would get aggravated by that, and it was like I just didn't, I you know I don't the whole know. thing sucks. And he came back with stipulations that he couldn't be hit, he couldn't do, couldn't do this, couldn't do this, couldn't do this, and I'm like. And then if you even suggested it, he almost held it. Not almost, he held it over. Our it was head very and he would just walk out. Yeah, it was very awkward. Honestly, it, him getting out of here is the best thing that ever happened to us. You know what? If this takes off and we do great, that's great. If it falls on its face, it falls on its face. But we don't need him involved with it. Period. Yeah. That's just it in a nutshell. Because it, it you it you can't re you can't rely on him. You just can't rely on him. He's unreliable. Yeah. That's all there is to it. So that's just the best way to put it. You know what I mean? And and it, it's like getting rid of a you know a, a, a cancer. A, yeah. It's just like cutting it away. Move on downwind. So, Move on downwind. You know what I mean? So do your own thing. So it was stressful. We were actually all fighting a lot over it or whatever, because you could see you know, I, I, I see videos where I try to do all the pain or whatever, and then Trey would get mad because he feels bad because I'm the only one getting hit, so then he would jump in, but then it would instantly put the spotlight on Garen while he's not getting hit, and then that's where the comments would come. And it was just really stressful for the past however long he's been back. I, well, it was back. I don't know how long it was, but um, was it two weeks ago? I don't know. I, I, you know, the whole thing just makes me sick. I think it was like, I think it was like two weeks ago. I think he was... He, me and me he and Amy back for less than a year. Yeah, me and Amy, we we were uh, me and Amy, and her family. It's on uh, the Bell Life Vlogs channel. You want to tell them why he quit the second time? Yeah, I want to say everything. It's well, ridiculous. go on and tell them. It's and I, I this I, one boggles my brain to this day. This this is what we're dealing with here. And you tell me if somebody had not unhinged like this. He's working full time for me. Wants me to get a bigger truck. All this stuff. Add you know so he can make more money. Whatever whatever. He. Somehow or other talks one of my dad's buddies into buying him a house that he can rehab. Yeah, you all never saw any of that. Yeah, right. That he can rehab. Yeah, then, I, actually, actually, wait one second. We will save the story, the, the house story. That's a whole vlog on its own. Let us know in the comments down below if you want us to say that. Because that's a really crazy and Well, that's stupid. why he quit the second time, though. That's a, you're going to have, what are you, how are you going to go from that to this? From there to here, or whatever. Well, he, he's just getting screwed. He didn't really, I mean, it, it caused a lot of issues. That caused even more issues on top of what was going on. But the, this, this second time he quit is, yeah, I mean, it, it does have a, a big reason to do with that, don't it? Yeah. I mean, we'll just make it a long video. It doesn't matter. Explain it. Tell him. So he talks him into buying a house. Our dad's buddy's rich. He's got a bunch of rental properties. Mom had just passed away. Dad's buddy felt bad. Said, "Hey, go pick out a foreclosed house and um, uh, and and flip it, and I'm gonna pay for everything, and then help you out with the next one and get your flipping business going." So Garen comes to us on a we just got done with a drinking video and tells us this. You know, Trey says it all the time, eating ramen noodles. But there was a lot of times where there's nothing to eat in it. You know what I mean? It was it's bad and. Uh, it was bad. And I'm like, this cocksucker is getting a house for free. And I'm like, so I, I had to leave. I was out. He could fall into a pile of shit and come out with a dozen rows and yeah. a <laughs> I was I was really aggravated. And he's this is where it comes into play, where he talks to you, starts talking to you. Yeah, I mean about when he's quitting the second time. Yeah, he just he said uh, he went to get try to get a loan. He's decided he's not gonna do the house. He's not flipping the house, he's gonna keep the house now. Yeah. And uh you're gonna to have to have a co-signer for that. You know, it, 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 basically, in a nutshell, this whole thing was because he wanted to quit recording it, yeah. quit, quit doing videos again. So he finally, you know, 
So then he goes, he throws his back out at the gym. No, you forgot. He no. goes and gets, he goes, he gets turned down for the loan for the house. Oh yeah, that, that upset him. You know, yeah, then he, that, that upset that him. Because the world. He goes into a tailspin, you yeah. know. So that upset Big him. tailspin. Yeah, that upset him. He's mad, blah, blah, blah. Then he's he quitting him. everything. You know, he's just going to, I'm done with everything. You know what I mean? Got shut down, you know. Like, oh God. He didn't even try another lender. He just, that was it. That's it. I, I'm done. And I'm, I'm done. I'm getting, I'm going to a, a different job. I'm going back to the company that told me I couldn't do videos. That's what he tells us, yeah. So just so I looked at him and I said, Garen, you if you go back to that company, they already told you you you're not allowed to do videos. We have the well, it's a, it's a it's a different section of or different uh, department. sector department, whatever the company. They said it wouldn't be no big deal. He said I'll just go till they shut me down. That's his out. He wanted out to the whole thing. That was the that was the thing. It's like I'll go till they shut me down. Yeah. It's like no, Garen, that's not the way it works. You can't build this back up again and then quit again. Before he went, before he went to get the loan for the house, I said, Garen, I mean, you know, I, I'm, what we're trying to do, you know, is it's pretty obvious. Um, you know, we're 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 trying to keep our original content and keep the BellLife.com going, and then also trying to provide comment for people that can't afford it. Content. But it's a it's a little bit of a twist than our regular content on the BellLife.com, and that's what we're trying to do. And I said, Garen, just stick with us, man. You know, before whatever we have to do for you to get that house. We'll, we'll do it. Right. And that's exactly what I said right here. We were, he was going to get the house either way. Yeah. Yeah. He was going to get it. Okay. And then he gets, he gets turned down and then he gets in a bad mood and he's done. And I'm like, how in the world, this is how quick Aaron makes decisions. I'm like, how in the world can we fix this? Yeah. You know, that's, I said something to, you know, Amy's, Amy's son, Michael. I said, I, I don't, and he, and Michael said, he doesn't think before he acts. You know what I mean? And I was like, that's exactly right. Yeah. He doesn't think he just does it. You know, then, then the consequences, and he, he has to... He irrationally reacts. He just does stuff like... He, that's what I'm saying. He's unhinged. Yeah. It's like an unhinged, so, you know? So then after that, he gets shut down. Uh, me and Amy, you, know, you all saw part of the video last night, um, headed to Florida. Right. It's our first vacation in 10 years. Uh, right? Yeah, first vacation. So this was Friday. We're heading down. We're heading down, and Trey calls. We were at the gas station. What was the first conversation about? Yeah. I think we were talking about like this, Trey. You know, we were like, is he going to quit again? You know, what's he going to do? And... And I'm calling people at the company that I used to work at and trying to find out what's going on, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And, and I'm, you know, I'm just like, in a and then I'm like, well, I take the benefit. Maybe if he goes back to work, maybe they're like, be okay with the videos and he can film with us. But then I'm like, there's going to be one day where they're going to say he can't film with us. And we don't have the money to pay for him to bring him on full time like we did the first time, if you were here at the beginning of the video. So I'm like, I was freaking out. So like, what are we going to do? Well, that was Friday. So then Saturday, Trey calls me. Garen throws his back out at the gym. You know how many times I've thrown my back out at the gym? And a better yet. He slipped the disc, he told me. He slipped the disc. I can't get out of bed. I can't do nothing. But he worked out. But then he came here and was working out. <laughs> so that was his excuse, basically, to quit me. No, okay, okay, wait, yeah. okay. okay. So he hurt his back on Saturday. Monday, he can't go to work for Trey. Yeah. Trey's like, okay, you know, that's fine or whatever. I'll yeah. go to work. So then Garen goes to the doctor on Monday. He throws his back out, okay? He throws his back out. He can't come to work on Monday. He goes to the doctor on Monday, okay? The doctor. Whatever day it was, I don't remember that. Calls Trey. He can't make it in the rest of the week. Yeah. So then right then, you knew that he's not coming back to work for Trey. Right. He's not coming back to work because he told Trey on Friday on the phone, I think Aaron's last day at work with Trey, said, yeah, we'll just go ahead and call this my two weeks. No, he said Wednesday. Wednesday... So Friday, I was paying him, and I said, he had never told me what he was doing, which is normal. And I said, what's going on? He said, I'm going back to such and such. And I said, I can't believe you're going to go back to that cocksucking company. What all they have done to our families is screw our family the whole time. I mean, it's a joke. But Dad was there like 38 years, and they laid him off back in 2008 when everything went to crap like it was nothing. Yeah, right. No so. big deal. They don't care about anybody, but, you know, number one. Anyway, long story short. I said, well, I'd do what you want to do, man. That's fine. I said, so you're going to quit working for me? He goes, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to get the call next Wednesday. He said, so we'll just consider Wednesday. From that Wednesday to two weeks is my two weeks. The call from the company that's going to hire him. Right. I said, fine. Knock yourself out. Well, I knew he wouldn't. You know, somebody gives her two weeks. I'm like, you're peeing coming. You ain't going to work for me. So I just said, you know, I told Melissa, I said, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to work Monday. And she's like, you're doing what? I said, I'm going, I'm back to work Monday. I said, I guarantee it. And another thing, we were talking about it before because you know everything's not going the best that um, they were talking about adding a straight truck to Trey's work. 
And then I was going to drive one of the box trucks like Garen was driving. Yeah. And I tried to tell Garen like that, you know, like, oh, it'll be really, you know, cool. You know, we'll get to go over there every day together. You know, whatever he's got to hear to make it sound like it's going to be To get him excited. Yeah, you, know, you know. I'm so, excited. I'm really excited about that. That was another effort for me to get him to try to, you know, to, to try to stay, to, you know, the second time. Thank over. God we don't have to do that. And he no told way. Trey, he told Trey that, uh, yeah, I could ride with him a couple days and he can show me how to do it. I said, I wouldn't ride with him if I was dying. I wouldn't ride with him. With Darren. Okay. So then, that well, That was after he quit. You wouldn't ride with him. I mean, that's what I'm saying. He did all this stuff and he has no idea that, you know, the, the ben, you know, that he's going to have to reap the benefit or the, you know, consequences, the, yeah, the so consequences, consequences of it. So the last call was with when Garen called, uh, cause we were leaving the beach on Monday and Garen called me and then Trey was beeping in at the same time. And it was right before that, that was the last conversation, which, which he let the cat out of the bag that he's going to do the videos until they shut him down. And then we, we, we skipped the part Friday's conversation heading to Florida. We were, t all of us were talking on the phone while we were driving. And I can't remember who brought it up, and I'm like, you know, maybe it's a good idea that the rest of the, the Bell family is kind of aware of what's going on here. So w when this blows up, because I'm like, the, la the first time he quit, I was really like, you know, um, blown away. I don't even know what to say. But the second, you know, when we got caught wind of the second time, um, that is irreversible. When you take a, you know, dream a dream that actually came true that we built from nothing and then he shits on it like it's nothing twice that is irreplaceable and i got other people i want to talk about too that were helped that decision was crapping on us so he comes what, what is he so the, the phone call what happened well he just called said I, I i i'm out this week it was monday i was sitting at the gym it's about I, his back when yeah, i'd already worked that day so i was sitting at the gym in the truck eating before i went in the gym and i said that's fine he, I, he said, I, I, I slipped a disc. I said, oh, I said, okay. Sounds like you're going to be out longer than that. That's what I said, you know. I knew where, I, I already knew where it was going, you know what I mean? And, and, I, and I had had about enough of him, you know what I mean, of the, the bull crap. The strain he was putting on everything. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. And, and, and I said, so did you, call, did you call the company and ask them if you're allowed to work? Yep. He said, I'm just going to go until they shut me down. You said it the second time. said it the second time. I said, Garen. Are you fucking, re excuse my language, are you retarded? I said, do you, do you understand what you're saying? You cannot come back here and do these videos, build an audience again, and then jump out of the middle if it takes off. It makes us look horrible. And we look like a fool again. Yeah. I said, you don't understand that? Are you not understanding that? And then he goes out of this big thing, and man, I just don't like doing the videos. I do, you know. You don't like the fame. You don't yeah. like talking to people. I don't like that. And then, you know, it, it's just, it's stupid. And, you know. He starts kind of talking like his dad. He reminds me of his dad when he starts talking nonsense. Senior like church, that. childish. Right, right, right. Just, you know, acting silly. So I said, well, you know, he said, man, I, you know, I got to get, I got to do all kinds of things to get myself worked up to even do them videos. You know, I'm not going to say what he told me he had to do. I, that's fine. I said, Garen, who cares? You know what I mean? Which is funny because you and Justin don't have to do that. There's right. A, there's, a, there's a lot that yeah. could be said. That yeah. right I'm now. not going to sit there and be under you know. the bus. I'm not going to do all that. I'm just saying, I'm, we're trying to be honest with you guys how this all went down. And he said, man, I just really don't want to do the videos anymore. And I said, are you freaking, and I was like, are you kidding me? And I said, well, you better have the balls to call Justin and tell him that. Oh, you got to call Trey. And then Trey beat in, and then I heard what he said. And I'm like, I'm not, you know, that was the last and final phone call that I'll ever, or see him in person the rest of my life. I'll never see him again. Never talk to him again. So if you're watching this right now, Garen, when you're looking at this, and I never get mad, and I'm not going to get mad now or whatever. You, you, you cut yourself out of the family. And you should have the tattoo on your chest removed because you are not a bell. You know what it should have? I, the new nickname is not the puker, it's the quitter. The quitter. Yeah. That's the new nickname. The quitter. So it's 90% of the time he starts crying about something. And normally, you know what he cries about? Is his relationship with Adrian. <laughs> That's what he cries about. And they're getting married. They're going to have a kid. Garen, you're screwed, buddy. And I don't think you realize it. Golly, you're an idiot, man. It's amazing. Dude. And he, Justin's not being mean. Every man. time. That is actually factual statement. So Adrian and Garen, check yourself and whoever's paying for the wedding, they need to check themselves too because they might need a receipt for that. Can I get a receipt for that? Golly, man. It's so... What? 
is the return policy. And then I got another couple little stories that I want to say. So now you all know the huge story. Huge. I make the post on Facebook driving home. Start seeing, you know, normal trolls, normal fans that not not the fans, normal trolls and haters that come on, you know, at, to everything. We got plenty of them, ten foot tall and keyboard warriors. That's what yeah. they are. So they're jumping on the bandwagon, you know, like yeah, screw the bell life and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, okay, and I hadn't talked to Garen. Call him, doesn't answer. Imagine that. Call my brother Eddie, doesn't answer. Imagine that. Call Lori, she answers, and the first thing she says is, what did she say? I'm gonna get it exactly. Never talk to me again. And I hadn't talked to her since Easter, and we didn't have a bad relationship. We were, nothing was bad. Everything was good. No, you guys really have never had a really bad relationship. When we were kid, yeah, when I was a kid, uh, like younger well, than Well, she was an adult, and you were a child. When I was younger that than That was Brandon. not on you. That yeah. was on her. Yeah, but uh, she says that, and I instantly go to, like, I'm trying to keep myself calm, like, red, like, you yeah, know. DEFCON 5. Oh, yeah. my gosh. We and, were driving, and I was scared. <laughs> oh, I was so mad I couldn't and see. And he has me on speaker. Oh, I and know. I got the speaker off. Me and Melissa are in the truck, and he's like, I, oh, God, I, 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 I've I was, never heard Justin this mad. Me and Justin Lori, had a full Lori, hey, argument. Lori said, and this is where I caught Garen Lyon right here. Everybody, you asked that before, and this is where we called him right here. Lori goes, what do you expect him to do when you're paying him $250 a week and you're living high on the hog? <laughs> I'm like, you're in a $500,000 house. We're in a $90,000 house. What the, f you know, what are you talking yeah, about? We've never really lived high on the, I mean, we did. Everything we have so done, we listen, have listen, everything we've and done us. and bought on the videos over the years is not flaunting. That is for content. Okay. That, that is, that is not, we're, uh, it's look at like Trey's box. Look, wait, 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 wait. Look at Trey's box trucks. They're held together with with what? Pins and needles. Tape. There's not. <laughs> there's there's no money here. The only thing we have that's nice are the two trucks that we bought for the, when we for the when company. We, yeah, yeah. For the company when we were doing. And everybody that has company knows that about yeah. tax reasons. And you get a write off for that. But so anyways, so so. She says that. Yeah, like, neither one of them are paid for. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody, like, oh, you just paid cash for those trucks. You we, just give them away. Okay, we make so payments we, like everybody else. We owe on our house still. Yeah. We still make payments on our home. Yeah, it's Trey, not. What, Trey's been in his for, what, 30 years, so he owns his, but mind. this is, you know, we We're still. We're normal blue collar people. Yeah, we're like, living just like everybody else. Yeah, so then. Our furniture is used. <laughs> we, and none of it matches. <laughs> none of it matches. <laughs> so, so um, she says that, and my I'm. Bed, my bed is in a waterbed frame. Right. <laughs> I'm so I was so I was so mad, and Amy was trying to do the you know which was getting me mad or everybody. You know, um, she would tell me to like calm. She tell me to calm down. I'm like I'm like Amy, you can't. I wasn't telling you. Can't you can't calm down with this this person right here. I was here. telling you both to stop because she, she was saying inappropriate things and you started saying inappropriate things. Oh my god. And gosh. it was not going to go anywhere. Oh, and then Amy said, Lori, can we talk like adults on this and have, can you have Adrian's sister just take her comment down? And Lori goes, no, no, I won't do that. No. Well, we I'm like, we oh, if, if we oh. took her content, if we took her so content. So I ended up going on and deleting her content which was what i should have just done in the beginning instead of giving them the benefit of the doubt that they could be adults about this and because ultimately they got mad because justin said we purchased the ring and they're going to end up in divorce because their whole relationship has been ultimatum after ultimatum you Correct. can be with me yeah. Garen and Adrian. if you do this get gary you can i'll stay with you if you do this and that's not how a relationship is ran a relationship cannot be a series of ultimatums. All kinds of crap, like Garen moving back in with Eddie and Lori. The reason he moved back in is because he, he couldn't, couldn't afford, afford the apartment anymore. Because he quit. Yeah, and we didn't have the money to, to pay him. The reason you guys don't know about all kinds of, there's all kinds of stuff that's sold at this house that you don't know about. But we're trying to keep things going as long as possible. You know, we're it's like fun with Dick and Jane. It's exactly what we're selling TVs and stuff, you know. What, but, is, what does he say when he's down in the hole? A little bit of pickle dish. Right? No, when he's in the hole in that in Mexican the, in guy. In the pool hole. Yeah, the, uh, oh, yeah, retard. Hey, retard. 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 <laughs> the cleaner, the lady, yeah. the, the yeah. babysitter. Yeah. So then, so then after after that, there was there was more words. I'm not going to say them again because they were horrible words. Um, and if you all know, when we started the Bell Life Bangs, we're in city limits. We are in the city of Taylor Mill, where you can't shoot a slingshot in your backyard. Okay. That so it was a matter of time before we were going to get kicked out of the backyard, right? Keep in mind, we're we're employing. Wait, listen to this. Okay. 
Eddie and Lori used to live across the street. They moved to a, I don't know, now they're probably $700,000 house neighborhood and we're living high on the hog, okay? <laughs> we're rich. And so uh, they move up there, but they live in county, not in city limits. And they shoot up there, guns and guns, to few, you all know, the time. They shoot up there, okay? So I already knew what Eddie's response was gonna be before any of this happened. And this is when Garen came back and we were, we were all good. We this were, stuff never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, so. Um, this is before Garen left. Oh yeah, this is before he left. I'm so, yeah. so much has happened we haven't told you all about. We wanted to make a video with everything in it so yeah, you all knew this, everything. This was before Garen left. Okay, so Garen, called, first time. Garen called Eddie and asked Eddie, hey, can we um, shoot up? Shoot up. Eddie's Garen's dad. Yeah, our brother. Can just, we film videos up on your property? For Until we find property. Yeah, we right? were just. You remember all the videos we did on the vlog channel? We we actually almost we got somebody backed out of the deal, um, but we we were gonna buy what was it two acres, yeah, three acres, three, three, wasn't it? Yeah, three acres, a handshake, you know, shook on a handshake, and yeah, they backed out. We of the got deal. screwed on that. But, um, and Eddie told Garen, I don't think that's a good idea. Right. And I'm, and, I, and so then did I call him on that? Yeah, you did. I called. He told him. you no. Yeah, he told me no. So, and I didn't speak to him for over a year. Over a year over that. Yeah. So we then you saw we went out to um, made know, one phone call to somebody we grew up with. A buddy. A buddy. Brian's brother. Yeah. yeah. Brian, our neighbor. You know, Brian, know. Actually Brian was the, the one who said, yeah. "Call Randy." Call Randy. Yeah. No. But one did. phone call. He goes, "Well, yeah, come, come on, on up. shoot." We did. We shot. I don't know. If you go back to the original videos on the Bell Life Bangs, that was at Randy's property. Yeah, back in the woods. Right. Yeah. yeah. Before it, 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 the one phone call, like no big deal. Without question. And own flesh and blood it. tells you to pound salt. Yeah. More or less. Pound salt. Okay. So, right. so uh, that happened. I, I knew that response was coming before that. You know. I, Justin I, did tell me. He said he won't let us shoot. I, it I, I knew I that. Said, oh yeah, he will. I, well, come on. Really? Yeah, I knew, I knew that was coming because that's the way he is. I know. It blew my mind, man. I mean, it just blew my mind to the point where I'm like, it's okay. ridiculous. And then, and then, you know, everything. It didn't. It never went back to normal. It's still awkward and all that kind of stuff. But everything was, you know, getting going, back to normal. Everything was getting back to normal. But you know, the one thing that really, where's it at? That really aggravated me was this. When I called Eddie the first time, when me and Lori got into the argument over the phone. He texts back basically as soon as me and Lori hang up and say, I missed your call, forgot my phone in the truck, call me back if you want to. And I'm like, this cocksucker is acting like he's not involved with it. He's he's letting all this happen and he's just an outsider. Keep in mind, he knew I called him and I told him, you don't want to let this go down. Yeah, he knew. Did we like, tell that? Did we tell that? You didn't even yeah. say anything rude. You were just yeah. saying, I just said, hey. yeah. this is a family obligation. Yeah. He has he has promised, he has made promises to us. That he's not going to quit. All he has to do is follow through with his obligations. Yeah. And, and Eddie, Eddie it, goes, well, I don't mean to be a jerk, but he's an adult. He's an adult that lives in your basement. Yeah. He's not an adult. He, he's an immature, if he's an adult, he's an immature adult, okay? He can't, you know. Whatever. I just said, Ed, I, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just bringing you the message. I said, Justin is going to lose his mind if he quits. And then I called my dad. Because we would never quit on anything Right. I, I, you know, I said, Dad, you know, me and Justin are just cut from a different cloth than Eddie is. I mean, we're just cut from a different cloth. I mean, it, it, it's, it's kind of spooky. It really is. You know, when it comes to, it's, it, people have asked us all the time, like, I can't believe you guys are all for others. He... Eddie, Eddie, believe it or not, is is turns into a little bit of us when he's drunk. Yeah, and that's when he's fun. And, he's and, fun when he's drunk, but when he's when he's not drinking, he acts like a, you know. He tries to be an adult, which none of us are adults. We're all jackasses. I mean, and he tries to be an adult, and he makes a jackass out of himself trying to be an adult. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it and, doesn't matter, you know. I mean, it, there again, I would have done anything in the world for him, and you know, yeah. and, and Garen, you know right. what I mean, and I, you know, and, and still, you know, he's come to me. And ask me for things Eddie has, and I've always had his back. And you know, it, it, you know, then he actually has a nerve to say, "I don't know why this involves us. It involves you because you always told him to to get a job with retirement, yeah, you know, you're and all this here. bunch of bull crap. You know what I mean? It's just bull crap. It, it, you know, people who who have companies and make money know that you know, you, you idiots that think that these companies pay your benefits. You're paying for the benefits, you dummies." 
Every time you work, you're paying for the benefits, you're paying for the retirement. So you just take the money on your own, you pay for your own benefits, and you pay for your own retirement. That's how it works. You freaking, you, 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 I don't even know how to explain this to company owners. It's like if you have like a lawn care company or something, and you start off with one yard. Okay, then you all of a sudden in three years, you got 90 yards, and you bring somebody on, and they go up and slit the owner's house's throat, and then you're on the news, and then your company shut down. That's exactly what he guaranteed. That's exactly what he did. But there's a lot more that can be said. There's a, definitely a lot more that can be said. So it's, we have said, we said in the house thing, but what else are we forgetting? We just gotta remember, make sure to remember everything. Not, I mean, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Well, th that's all the bad news. So if you are ready for some good news, you know, <laughs> oh, tell me Which something. Which I'm gonna good. have to put this on the beginning of the video. Yeah, we'll probably put this on the beginning because you know, I don't know if you made it this far or not. But. Right. <laughs> it's an hour long right now. Sorry. They made it. it they it, made it. They want to hear what's going on. It had to guarantee it. It had to come out. But um, some of the should we even should we say the other thing? No, we're not gonna announce that yet. We'll we'll wait a video. A couple Comment of down below if you want to know the other thing. Yeah, we got another announcement. <laughs> okay. But this one had to come first because, you know, obviously when I made the post, a lot of people saw it and they're commenting because I'm posting on TikTok and stuff. So we wanted to be well, honest. you don't go off like that. That's not your personality. It's I've had day. enough. I've had enough. That's okay. just it. They walk around on eggshells around somebody, you know what I mean? And it's just like to the point where you, you know, it something's got to give. Something's yeah. just got to give. So. We would really appreciate, um, you know, moving forward if you go really help us out. The original people that have been watching us since 2015. Well, you, you guys can't. I mean, you don't understand. 2000. Without you, we couldn't do it. Yeah, 2015, 2016. I had a guy message me, what, last night? I told Justin. And a lot of people have messaged me, but this one kind of, um, let me see here, what do he say? Uh, say, so if you could just stick with oh, us. Oh, Cole. This guy's name was Cole. I can't pronounce his last name. I don't know. M A L I A long. So wow. Yeah, he's got a long name. Anyway, he just said, uh, he said, uh, hey, sorry to hear about your family. Hopefully everything works out. I'm always watching your videos, supporting you guys. And then he said, uh, please tell me you guys aren't going to quit doing the bellife.com. And I said, we're definitely not going to do that. We're going to make a video soon and tell everybody what's happened. Um, and as always, we thank you for your support. Can't thank you enough for watching. Yeah, and so that, that's just the truth. I mean, you know, we don't have any intentions of quitting anything. I mean, we've never have quit. Mm -mm. We don't quit. Mm -mm. So this part of the trio doesn't quit. So if it, if it, you know, but um, thank you for sticking with us and and I mean to include Amy too. And I'm not saying I don't. She knows where I'm going. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm just I'm talking, here. And I'm trying there too. I'm trying not to single out, you know, anybody or whatever. But thank you all, um, a ton for you know all the years. I act like we're gonna go die or something, but. You know, we're not. Um, the, it doesn't make a difference in all honesty what I told Justin, and this is exactly how I feel about it. If you don't want to watch, don't watch because we'll build another audience just like we have, what, four channels, three channels? Mm -hmm. We'll build another audience on our own. And I don't mean to be rude. I'm just being honest. We, you know, you either like to, us or you yeah, don't. You know what I mean? We I can, we can't make you like us. You know no. what I mean? That's just it. We want the people that want to watch to, to watch. stay. Yeah. But those of you that are just just trolling us, you guys can just go on. Hit the road. Yeah. yeah. We Hit appreciate the road. everybody there's a lot, watching. There's a lot of stuff going, you know, in the past in the past four months. There has been a lot that has happened. Yeah. Um, we both go, we both are going back to work. We got income coming in. It is what it is. Oh, yeah, and we, people yeah, go we at it. We'll, that. Yeah, we'll yeah. go at it like we're killing snakes for you guys and try to do what we can. And hopefully you want to watch. But if you don't. You know, I mean, I, nobody's nobody's making you watch. Right. So the con, so the, the the one couple positive things that are coming out of it is the is the content is actually will, will actually be normal again. Yeah. Uh, the original OGs. Yeah. The con. And the two people that are involved are going to be giving a hundred percent. Right. Not yeah. the con. The content 20. will be mm -hmm. will, will be good again. Um, and also the content. Uh, obviously you're going to know. Uh, you know, we're ahead on a bunch of the channels right now. You guys didn't post the one we did with the bottles, did you? Yet? That ain't up yet, is no, it? No, it's not up yet. We're both got cut foreheads. You know, we're almost the exact same spot. Yeah. But you have what I'm saying is I, I forget what what was I just saying right there about the shoot. You keep losing your track. Oh, I know what was I saying right there. Oh, uh, we're ahead. Oh yeah, we're ahead on videos. Yeah, and, so he'll be in some videos. Yeah, because yeah. you guys will comment that and you know it, he 
what are we two weeks ahead i think we're two weeks ahead yeah something because when we're all gonna this trickle some of our stuff we're doing here in with those so it'll be broke up but he's going to be in some of them when you know I mean? when they're already pre-recorded and done when um when garen decided to start having this fit this time um when we left for florida we actually took almost two weeks off so we were a month ahead on the website but now we're basically two weeks ahead so you, you might see you know a few videos of them so that's we yeah. filmed we filmed uh sat sunday yeah so we're and he, like he said we're we're back to uh full back time. back to full-time working 40 hours a week and we'll be filming on sundays so. we ain't working 40 hours a week well, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's just between the if you have the gym <laughs> It's just it's 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 aggravating and, and you know and depressing at the same time. But there there is another another announcement. Well, we'll just save that because that's going to be way too confusing to announce. Yeah, we're that, at right? an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm, it, it, there has to be a lot of people watching now because this is the biggest news we've ever had. I mean, there hasn't been any big. I mean, maybe I, I guess well, mom, when the mom, website got deleted. Well, mom's was I guess the biggest, but th yeah. this is this is this is up there. So right right below mom, but um. Yeah, we'll save that other announcement and if you can help us out with the shirts and you know show us you still love us you know our fans we really um really if you're watching it. this you obviously love us and we love you guys that's just all there is to it that's the way i look at it i mean if you if you see you're gonna see it first yeah i mean i literally you know i mean he's he's got them too but i mean literally you know you got oh I mean, well, they know, baby. I mean they we watch. got scars all over from this stuff i'm bleeding from something i don't even know what happened you know i mean branded there's scars all over us I mean, I, I really, I, the videos are kind of suck to do, but the cool thing about the videos that I like is making people laugh. Like today we were running around, somebody walked in and said, oh, that dog collar, shot collar through the drive-thru was hilarious. It's cool to hear that stuff that people enjoy us through their phone or TV, which is crazy, you know. And that's what I'm talking about, the dream, you know, came true and all that kind of stuff. But, because if people... If that have started social media, understand how difficult it is, you know, once you start it, yeah. you know. But plan, plan. Um, plan, plan. We got another annou announcement. We'll, we'll we'll save for the fourth time. Yeah, we'll save that, and then um, I already said about the shirts pre-sale, and then all the links will be down below. Um, uh, the plan with the Bell Life Bangs channel, we haven't said it a whole lot on here, is is um. We want that to be the original bell life again. Technically, without, but it's going to involve guns, if that makes sense. Right. That's the way to, because people are saying some of the videos that are on the bell life bangs are on the belllife.com, and that's true. We have done gun videos, gun related videos on the website, but we're almost they all of those videos. Two years. Well, a couple of them, like the golf ball launcher, has only been up for oh. like four or five months or something, but we're only putting the stuff that involves guns on the bell yeah, that won't be none of the other, the other yeah. stuff from the dot com on yeah. the, you know youtube yeah none of the other stuff is going to be on youtube or whatever but if you haven't already check out the bell life bangs and then um subscribe there and then of course subscribe subscribe to the bell life uh, vlogs and uh help us out because uh you, our uh our uh what do, what do you call that our trace future, ramen our, trace our ramen. future is in your hands trace ramen noodle joke is, is coming to fruition <laughs> but Maybe he shouldn't joke like that anymore. <laughs> but the, uh, um, um, for all of you all, thank you all the time. We really appreciate it. We love you all. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.